قال الإمام علي عليه السلام اللسان سبع إن خلي عنه عقر زبان درنده است که اگر به خود رهایش کنی می گذد. The tongue is a beast If it is let loose, it devours أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال علي بن أبي طالب عليه الصلاة والسلام اللسان سبع إن خلي عنه أقرأ علي بن أبي طالب عليه الصلاة والسلام says in نهج البلاغة the tongue is a beast if it is let loose it devours in a very beautiful saying that Imam al-Islam is saying that uh, The tongue is like a wild animal. If it is let loose, then it eats you up, it bites you, it uh, destroys you. So there are animals which are um, which are pets, which are in control. But the Imam Islam says that no, it is like a wild animal. The tongue is like a wild animal, which has, if you don't control, which which. which can destroy, it can destroy households, it can cause battles, it can cause divorces, it can cause anything. The most sins that are performed by any part of the body are by tongue. Our tongues can can sin unlimited sins. It's a very small part of the body. And some wise people said that it has 32 guards, our teeth. It has two gates, our lips. And yet, it remains under no control. It can do anything. It backbites, it lies, it taps. It performs all sorts of sins. So it's very important that we learn to control our tongue. Don't let it loose. It talks. It can be very talkative. It can be very destructive. But at the same time, if it is in control, then it can spread knowledge. It can do good preaching. It can spread good manners. It can spread uh, good actions you know, by uh, words, words. And it can do all sorts of good things if it is in control. But if it let loose, then it can be extremely destructive. It can be extremely sinful. It can be extremely um, vile. So the Imam says that it is um, like a beast. The tongue is a beast. And the sun is so born. It is, it is a beast. If it is let loose, it divorce. So it eats up anything. It can do anything. Um, that can be uh, destructive or that can be constructive. Now, slowly as you train your your tongue and your mind, then the tongue uh, performs good actions. The tongue learns to um, to teach, to spread knowledge, to do good things. And it is our job to train our mind and our tongue. Thank you very much for listening.